biosystems tto stock we are seeing a very nice reversal today here friday uh september 29th right end of the trading week and we are seeing t2 biosystem stock up 24 percent here um, on the trading day 22 cents at the time of this video uh, just really over the last month or so after seeing the stock continue to fall honestly after the fda approval we're seeing this stock continue to fall here's the last three months here here is fda fda clearance of the, the 510k uh, bio threat panel and we had just seen it fall it was falling it was when the fda cleared the t2 bio threat panel it closed at 45 cents and was down to a low of just yesterday at 14 cents was the low it closed at 17 but was a low yesterday of 14 cents climbing back up today you guys up 24 percent right and it was just a kind of a matter of time um kind of a matter of time in my opinion for t2 biosystems to have this correction and see this reversal um specifically happen with the company stock price just given everything that is kind of going on outside of t2 um in just regards to um, not only not only T2 Biosystems and what they're doing, but just the sepsis uh, community as a whole and just the, uh, I guess, narrative of sepsis within the government and within uh, just within the news as well. Like a ton of positive things are happening. Obviously, sepsis is not a positive thing, um, but a ton of positive things are happening of that would, I guess, a ton of things are happening that are going to be positive for T2 Biosystems as a company to grow, to create revenue, obviously, you know, sepsis is a very sensitive thing and, and a negative thing, but what T2 Biosystems is doing is just trying to create uh, positive outcomes for people dealing with sepsis. So we can see here um, T2 trading back in the top six most heavily traded cryptos on the market. It's up 29%, like I said, 72 million trades. Um, again, still early morning hours, somewhat early morning hours of the market. Let's actually refresh this to see if the trading volume has gone over 90, 90 million yet. Um, T2... Okay, 78 still, sorry. So that's that's updated fresh. So 78 million in trading volumes for T2 Biosystems. Just wanted to go over a few things in this video. Um, trying to keep it as brief, concise as possible. Drop a like, hit the subscribe button, you guys. Again, I'm not a financial advisor as well. But look at this. So sepsis symptoms can be debilitating. A new rule cracks down on prevention in hospitals. This is from just yesterday, you guys. This is on USA Today as well. So just to give you an idea of the publication here, um, putting this type of content out, specifically talking about sepsis and um yeah so it's known as the subtle the subtle killer life-threatening illness caused by your body's response to an infection sepsis occurs when your body goes into overdrive in response to an infection so i guess i can't read this article here but you can i just wanted to share it with you guys um that this sepsis right is being taken very seriously by cdc u.s government programs um the u.s government as a whole taking sepsis very seriously and trying to implement programs in ways to help combat it right which brings me to my next uh thing to talk about here is this tweet right so this is going around online um make loco on twitter puts this out they're talking about ttoo beginning of fall so there's this uh, article here from becker's clinical leadership here new rule demands more from hospital hospitals on sepsis prevention beginning this fall hospitals could be at risk of losing funding if they do not meet certain benchmarks for sepsis care due to biden administration rule proposed back in august with the aim of reduce, reducing sepsis caused deaths which nationally sits at 270k per year the new rule requires the hospitals perform blood tests on suspect, suspect suspected sorry sepsis patients quickly in the hopes of identifying anomalies that signal sepsis infection in addition clinicians are to begin administering antibiotics to any patient with possible case within three hours of identifying any signs of infection additional methods to keep patients blood pressure from dropping should also be implemented beginning this fall hospitals must also report whether they are meeting the guidelines and also meet newly proposed benchmarks usa today reported september 28th take this in blood tests within three hours that is exactly what t2 biosystems bio threat panel does it gives you a diagnosis in three to five hours you guys right this is on usa today this is biden administration rule that was proposed back in august you can see here this uh max saeed oo guys this is big may this maybe this is what's scaring the shorts i believe john spurzel is on point tto and I, it, I mean, it's kind of what I've been reiterating for a while now on this channel and specifically with these TTOO videos is that like there was just a matter of time, right? Like there was too much bullish catalyst and too many, I guess, bullish aspects of T2 box systems for the stock to could just continue to fall. And I think a lot of people even honestly took advantage of the dip in 
you know, were getting deeper into the positions, adding to their bag, whatever it may be, um, on this past dip that we saw with YouTube two buy systems. Um, and I think it's really benefiting a lot of people greatly now seeing the price back in the green. Obviously, there's a chance we see some profit selling again Monday just because that's kind of how it works. But nonetheless, positive catalyst after positive catalyst seems to be coming out with T2. Um, and yeah, we are getting earnings not that long, not that far away, November 8th. Right, and November 20th is that date to um, be back above $1, I believe, for T2 Biosystems as well. So we're looking at a crazy, um, hopefully very bullish month of, of uh, October, right, coming up. Last few days of September here, Monday, and the next trading day after today will be uh, the new month. So hopefully we get a nice bullish new month here. Drop a like on this video, guys. Hit that subscribe button. And as always, have a great day.